Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyson here and another video for you guys today. So today I want to talk about uh, the importance of sleep. Now you've probably heard it all before and I know I have too and it doesn't really matter if you guys hear it, it's are you actually doing it, okay? So for me, for a lot of years, you know when you're a teenager, when you're younger, I'm still pretty much a teenager but still, when you're a lot younger you can get away with less sleep even though you actually should be having more, right? So the younger you are, the more you should sleep, obviously. Now, when it comes to sleep, though, a lot of us do neglect it because, obviously, real life happens. But most of the time, when we say real life happens, it's a lot of bullshit. Uh, you think about real life, you would count real life as watching a TV show that's up at, that's at 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night because you want to watch a TV show or something stupid like that. Usually, we can get 8 hour, eight to... I'm going to say 8 to 10 hours sleep if you really wanted it. It's just how... You make it important in your life, right? And the thing about that is, let me tell you a story, okay? So for my first powerlifting meet, um, when my first meet was coming up, I was training a lot, really heavy, and I was also just starting out on my personal training, you know, getting clients, things like that. So I was working a lot, and I was extremely, extremely tired all the time. But I just kept, you know, like I'd go to work, I'd train, and then I'd go back to work. I'd personal training hours, you know, you work to ridiculous amounts of time at night wake up really early in the morning and get straight back into the gym, right? Because you have clients, that's going to be their peak time. And what happened is I was missing out on sleep. I think I was getting about five to six hours sleep for the first couple of weeks. And then when I was heading closer and closer to my competition, I actually tried to incorporate sleep more. So I was actually taking naps throughout the day. I was just really prioritizing what was important in my life. So I started um, cutting out the night sessions a little bit just, just for the competition because I knew it was important. And I started sleeping once. I was sleeping about nine hours a night, and then I was also taking a 20 minute nap during the day. Obviously, this everyone can't do that, but the point of the matter is, I made the best gains I've ever made in my life, like strength wise, uh, feeling better, everything, just because I prioritized sleep, right? And I don't think I would have got my total as what I did if, if I didn't actually prioritize it. Like, I squatted uh, three plates beltless. All these type of things just because my sleep was so much in order and I just felt fresh all the time. Now, that's what's happened to me, but I don't think it's going to be as applicable to you guys in real life, especially with your goals. But just not even in regards to your goals, just for your brain health, just for your body to recover, what I think we all need to do is focus on, even if you can't sleep for, let's say, 8 to 10 hours a day, which is a lot, it's asking for a lot. Because when you have a look at the statistics and what they recommend, they say you need you need an adult needs between seven to eight hours of sleep a night. But that's just for a normal adult. That's not someone who's exercising. When you're exercising, your body needs to recover more. Your body needs obviously like it needs to adapt. It needs to adapt to the stress you're putting out of the body. It needs to make sure it's making the right recovery. So you're gonna need to rest longer. So what I recommend for you guys is probably about seven to eight hours minimum, not just recommended. The more you can get, the better. And there's a couple of ways we can actually get the same type of benefits from sleeping, but not actually sleeping that long. So let's say you guys are only sleeping, let's say you're sleeping six to seven hours a day, okay? So that means you've got, let's say seven, let's say seven hours. So that means you've got what? That means you've got another 17 hours a day to do what you've got to do, right? Now let's say you're working and then you have a lunch time break at your job and your lunch break's an hour. Well, you can fit in a 20 minute nap. It, like what else do you do on your break? You sit down, you'll talk, you might sit in the smoker room, talk to some people and eat your lunch. What if you spent 20 minutes of that time eating your lunch, 20 minutes of the time trying to get to sleep, have a nap, and then you're awake back for work or skip the lunch, uh, have a nap and eat at your desk or something. There's That's one way you guys can implement it or after your job or three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, you might be a morning worker, six till three or seven till three, something like that. Have a nap in the afternoon before gym. That's one way you guys can do it. Another way is just, like I said, prioritizing your life. So, really do an audit of what you're actually making important. If you're, let's say, okay, let's say you work, uh, let's say you work a normal nine to five job. So you wake up, you go to work, do what you gotta do, then you go to the gym, you might get home, it's about 7.30, eat something to eat, have a shower, let's just say it's, uh, let's say it's 9.30, 10 o'clock, all right? So what you can do there, you can, go to bed and sleep for eight hours until about 5.30, 6 o'clock, depending on what time you go to bed. 
or you can do what you usually do and watch TV or scan, like you know, jump on the internet, watch Netflix, do all those types of things, stay up till like 11, 30, 12, 1 o'clock, and then go, oh man, I've got to go to bed. Wake up at 6 o'clock and you wake up wondering why you're feeling tired. There's just things like these guys that you really need to think about. You know, what's going to get you the best benefits? What's going to get you feeling better every day in life? What's going to help you with your results in the gym? What's going to help you think clearer at work, like, you know, just in everyday life? Just once you have more sleep, you're going to realize how much more better it is, not for your body's health, but also for your brain health too, because you're going to realize, like, you've just got so much more mental clarity in your head, and you're going to go, like, oh, shit, this is so much better. Like, I feel so good. And you guys know what I mean. Like, let's say you have a sleep in one day, just somehow. You might go to bed early because you're tired. And you wake up and you're like, holy, I just feel really good. Like, I know what you guys, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? So, that's another way is prioritizing your life. Um, sleeping on the weekends. Don't go out to party so much. Like, when I was younger, I would go out every Friday and Saturday night, sleep for five or six hours and wonder why I felt like shit for the rest of the week. Spend your Friday night or your Saturday night in and just sleep in. Or Sunday, sleep a little bit extra. Yeah, you waste a little bit of the day, but you're catching up on that sleep you're missing. But it might not work for some people. You can't just catch up when you sleep all the time. You can't go, all right, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wake up. So I'm gonna sleep seven hours during the week, so that's 35 hours of sleep, and I should be getting about 40 hours. So I'm gonna sleep an extra two hours a day. Some people it's gonna work. You know, some people are gonna wake up feeling great. And you're gonna be good for the rest of the week. Some people it's just not gonna work. So really listen to your body and figure out what's gonna be the best for you. For me, it's sleeping a little bit extra um, every night instead of actually trying to catch up my sleep on the weekend. One, because I want to be up and awake and do something, and two, because my body clock's just not in tune with sleeping in all the time. It's used to waking up in the morning because of my hours, and that's just the way it is. So you guys need to think about that too. It's not just what everyone recommends, you know? I can say you need 10 hours of sleep or you need 8 hours of sleep, but you might, you might be fine with 6 hours of sleep. But this is what I'm just talking about, guys, actually getting the sleep you need. For me, eight to nine hours is really good. Nine hours is actually excellent for me. That's when I just feel like I'm top of the world and a gun. And I don't get nine hours much. I'll probably get eight and a half, or that's about it. Like, you know, I don't get much more than eight and a half, even though if I do get the nine on the weekend, it's I just feel so good for a long time. Now, a lot of the time is we can't get to sleep because obviously, you know, there's so much going on in our head. Uh, some of us might have insomnia, things like that. So I want to give you guys some ideas about how to actually get a better night's sleep, all right? I was actually talking to a friend about this the other day. She had some problems sleeping. She's tried different things. Everyone's got remedies that are actually going to help relax the body and help you get to sleep. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is turn off all your electronics, your phone, everything, your computer, your TV, at least half an hour before you go to bed. I turn everything off an hour before I go to bed and I read oh, about 45 minutes before I go to bed. Um, I'll you know put my phone on silent, I'll put the airplane mode on, I'll do what I have to do to actually put it away, uh, turn it off, put it on charger, put it out of my uh, under my bed so I don't think about it. Uh, turn it off my computer or you guys can use a cool program called F.Lux which will actually change the brightness on your computer if you've got a Mac. I'm not sure if it works with uh, Windows. But it helps change the uh, the lights that's coming on your eyes, so it's a little bit less, especially when it's getting closer and closer to bedtime, it's going to be less on the eyes, okay? That's another way you can do it. Um, so yeah, turning off your TV, just turning off electronics. A lot of people want to sleep, uh, watch TV before they go to bed and they have the TV in the room. And then this is when you start getting crazy dreams that you can't sleep, alright? So number one is electronics off at least half an hour before bed. Number two I want to talk about is, let's talk about, it's a little bit different, but it's called meditation. So it's not woo-woo hippie meditation, it's just being mindful of your breath, taking time back, going a little bit slower, like, you know, thinking about, don't think about your thoughts, but concentrate on your breath. So, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just focus on your breath for five minutes. That's very, very calming. Like, you know, you're still going to realize you've got a lot of thoughts going on in your head, but it's just going to be a little bit more calming for you to help you relax and take take a step back and just realize, like, wow, I've got a shit shitload going on at the moment. Uh, you can do that laying in bed. You can do that just sitting down, closing your eyes just before bed. It's really up to you. It might not work for everyone, but it's not going to happen on the first time either. So don't just say, oh, meditation doesn't work for me. I tried it once and it just didn't happen. 
give it a go for a week and see how you go. Um, another way you can try it is just trying to focus on everything. Like let's say you're laying down in bed, lay there, close your eyes, focus on your toes relaxing, then focus on your feet relaxing, then focus on your legs relaxing, and then go all the way up, all the way to the top of your head, and just try and relax everything in your body. Really just lay there and think about relaxing everything. From the tip of your toes, to the very top of your head, to your fingertips, everything. Just try and get everything relaxed as possible and just lay there. Because once you're relaxed, you're going to start calming down. You're going to start slowing down more and just realizing you're like, oh man, this actually feels really good. And it's going to help you, put you in that mindset to go to sleep. Um, another thing that works for some people is eating a big dinner before you go to bed. So for me, this is where, like I said the other day, nutrient timing. So I'll have a lot of carbohydrates after my workout. But I'll also have a lot of carbohydrates and protein before dinner because I just like going to bed full on a full stomach. I just, you know, when you eat a really like high carbohydrate food like pasta and stuff like that, and you're just like, oh man, I feel like sleep right now. That just knocks me straight out. So you've got to try these other things that are going to work for you guys. Uh, another couple of things you could try chamomile chamomile tea, which is really good. Um, what else can you try? You can try, you know, there's melatonin. There's like other supplements that can help. But try the things that aren't going to cost you money first, you know? Like, why why spend money on trying to sleep if you can do things for free? So, there are just a couple of recommendations for today, guys. Number one, uh, turn off all electronics at least half an hour before bed. Number two, try some mindfulness and meditation and actually concentrate on your breath ten, five, ten minutes before you go to bed or when you're laying in bed. Number three is uh, laying down, focusing on all your muscles, relaxing, Really just trying to let go of everything, just trying to really relax. Uh, number four is try and eat a big meal before you go to bed, see how that goes. Some people give some crazy dreams, see how you go. You might be better on an empty stomach, who knows. Number five, if all that fails, try your chamomile tea, try your melatonin, try some, some of those supplements that are supposed to help, magnesium. Um, try freezing cold shower, that's another idea. People like having freezing cold ice baths and things like uh, things like that. I'd like to tell you guys another quick story. So Tim Ferriss, um, not sure if you guys know this, but he uh, he's like a he's a, he he likes to experiment with his body. He found out the best way for him to go to sleep is to have an ice bath half an hour before he goes to bed. Freezing cold ice bath. He'll jump in there for 10, 15 minutes, get out, you know, have a quick bite to eat, and he just said, "Boom, he's out." And that's how he found out what works best for him. So it's all about listening to your body, guys, and finding out what works best for you. But there's some tips you can use for today. Try and find out how long you're actually going to need to sleep and what's going to work best for your body. And you're going to notice you're going to be feeling better. You're going to be performing better. All areas of your life are going to be better if you focus on one of these main goals. So get to sleep, see how you go, and I'll see you next time.